Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Here we've got the Hubzin 501S controller and we got this undescript Chinese package in. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and see what we have inside the package. What could it be? What would Monty Hall say this is going to be? Oh, this is interesting already. And what is it? It looks like a 5.8 gigahertz panel antenna and uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So what we're going to do, folks, this this is a range extender for the um, Hubzin uh, 501S controller. Now, you notice up here it's got uh, a couple tabs, so great place. So we'll put the, the 5.8 here, the 2.4 there, at least that's what I think. We'll have to open it up first and see. So uh, looks like a few screws in the back. So, tell you what, let's get a little bit of a time lapse opening this, this bad boy up and uh, see what's inside, okay? Okay, here we are back. So, now interesting, there's a JT connector in here that uh, plus and minus. So it looks like we could probably see about uh, getting a uh, LiPo in here. This could be interesting. I've heard that there are potential for a LiPo mod, but I haven't really seen it uh, before. And so I'm just kind of looking here. So it looks like it looks like we have the tr let's see. So I think this side is going to be the uh, 5.8, which is really an interesting looking antenna, and then we'll get to look at this in a minute. Um, and then it looks like your atypical 2.4 here. Let me take a quick look. Now, it looks like they have the SMA pop-on connectors. It doesn't even look like there's any uh, glue or anything on top of these guys. Now, there is a little bit here, and we'll have to clean up a little bit in here to get the pieces on. Uh, and we'll have to pop this out. There's a little bit of glue. So we see the uh, interesting antenna design here. Um, hmm, that's kind of interesting design. And it looks like some kind of uh, interesting dipole. And then again, this, this guy is kind of glued in. Whoops. And so I believe that's the 2.4. And then we'll have to clean this. Looks like some silicone. I have to get some needle nose pliers. And again, that's what goes in there. I want to open up this package. Let's take a quick look at what's in the package. I don't think any instructions come in here. Uh, I did with the other one. But, uh, and it basically says spare parts, any broken, you can ask to send free within six months. Well, that's nice of them. And we get this other lock washer out. So again, this look again looks like the transmitter, and this looks like the receiver. Or sorry, no, this looks like the receiver. This looks like the transmitter. Sorry, I keep getting this ass backwards when I flip this around. So I'm gonna double. Let me double check this. Okay, so I went and checked a few things, got a few extra tools, and did a couple things off camera that I wanted to show you guys. So first off is I marked, put some uh, blue painter's tape and marked the centers of these holes. I get a little anal. You could probably eyeball it, but I like to uh, have things even. Uh, did check transmitter, receiver, so 5.8 receiver, 2.4 transmitter. So we'll place those on there. I also... Um, took out the excess glue and also used the X-Acto knife here to kind of remove uh, a couple stanchions in here. And I might have to do a little bit more cleanup, but I'm going to go ahead and drill it out first. Now, uh, to drill this out, uh, I'm going to be using a smaller drill to pilot it. And then I have measured these at about six millimeters um, in size. So these are about six millimeters. Well, they are exactly six millimeters. What I'm going to do is use a 1564th to drill, which is about 5.75.8 millimeters, because uh, I want a real tight fit with these, and I may have to ream it out a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the drill here. Normally I do this in the drill press, and maybe I'm going to... Uh, so I'm going to start out slow, and then 
poke the first hole in there. It's a little bit off. I could could have used a center punch if I wanted to get real particular, Robert. Um, just picking on you there, buddy. And hole punched in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap out this pilot hole drill for the 1564s because the next one up I have is a quarter and that takes me up to a little bit above uh, six millimeters something like about 6.2 so uh, and again I want it tighter so hole knocked in there and uh, ream it out a little bit and then let's see get this so you can kind of see I don't drill into my hand and that's all good so let's go ahead and peel the tape off and that's always going to be a little bit of fun and uh, I'm going to use the exacto knife to kind of just clean up a little bit of the hole and not try to cut myself uh, just kind of clean up some of the burrs I use my plastic cleanup tool also and so let's see how this fits in the hole. This fits a little bit snug. I am going to get my plastic cleanup tool. Let me see. I'm going to get the plastic cleanup tool for this one. Okay, this deburring tool is a great tool for stuff like this because it allows you, and I'll put the link down below for this. So you just spin it in the hole and it cleans up the hole and also enlarges it. And I'm going to use this to get to to my hole size so I get it just spot on because I want these to be tight in there. I don't I do not like my antenna connectors to be loose. I need to get a better grip on this. And you don't want to do too much. And you see I'm getting pretty close right there. Okay, so as you see, we got the, uh, the, the antenna fitted in there, or at least uh, start. I'm going to have to see. I may have to clean this up a little bit. There seems to be uh, in the corner a little piece, so I'm going to clean that up. It's a little bit snug to work this around this binding post right here, but I'm going to clean this piece up in here. Okay, so now I've got this in there. Now, one of the things you might have noticed in the time lapse, I used a little bit of the blue Loctite. Um, just looking for the cap here. Put the cap back on uh, to uh, make sure the nuts lock on here because I've did a, done a couple other mods uh, where the nuts, uh, for example, on the 502, where the nuts are starting to come loose, and I'm going to have to take it back apart. So I want to make sure these hold. Uh, and I cleaned up a bit of the uh, that got on the threads above it. And that should be okay after I clean this up. So now what I need to do, is, oh, the other thing I want to mention is be careful with the downward force you put on the switches and stuff. I had to be kind of careful as I was pressing and cutting uh, during that whole procedure. So now what we're going to do is put the SMA connectors, the micro SMA connectors on here. Now these are pretty straightforward. Remember, you should hear a pop when they go on. Or else they're not on and they're a bit... Uh, Get on, especially when you're working around a camera. There we go, we got the pop. And then we're going to do the same on this one. There we go, you heard the pop. This one, because the board gives, it's on a kind of a rubber mount where this one's right to the board, is a little was a little bit tougher to uh, pop on. So one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm gonna I am gonna put a little bit of silicone sealant as I did in the uh, Argitech uh, antenna mod. So I'm gonna go get the silicone. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on here just to make sure the connectors number one stay on. And number two, we don't have get moisture in there, especially since we're going to be operating around the lake. So I'm just going to do both of these. 
just like as you've seen in the Architect mod. I think that's how you pronounce it anyways. And so I'm just using a toothpick to take a little bit and work on there because I don't want a lot uh, in there. Sweep up the little bit of excess, put it in my handy dandy paper towel, and I'm set. So we have this set up. So now um, I think we pretty much start the reassembly. Um, oh, one of the other things I want to point out while I have this open, here is the GPS module. So you might want to keep that in mind that, you, that you know, you probably, you know, if you're holding your hands like this, you might impede with the GPS module a little bit. So um, if you're having, you know, some trouble... Um, obtaining satellites on the remote, which which I have had that problem. Uh, it's because it's right here. Kind of a strange place, I guess, for it, but where else are they going to put it? Because you got the screen back up here, right? So, anyways, it's worth keeping in mind. So, let's go ahead, do a quick time lapse of the reassembly and get the toothpick out of here. Okay, I wanted to clean up the work area a little bit before I started the reassembly. One of the other things I wanted to mention is these are both uh, standard SMA connectors for both the 2.4 and the 5.8. So I forget, uh, I think these are SMA females. I can't remember the, the, it's not the RP version where it's reversed. So it doesn't matter which one of these, or at least in this kit, uh, but it's something to be cognizant of, you know, because these both have center pins. So uh, they'll just kind of screw in here like this and then... Uh, like this respectively. I don't want to screw them on all the way right now because I have to uh, set it up. But that's how it basically looks. So let's go ahead do a quick time lapse of the reassembly and take a look at it all put back together. And then I'll give you some of my final thoughts. All right, here we are back. Uh, we got everything all set up, um, powered it on. You notice I did a quick self-test after I put the batteries in. I just wanted to make sure I had it in the right way. One of the things you want to make sure is, is really before you power it up that this antenna is connected uh, because you run the risk of burning out your transmitter if it isn't. So, um, But for a quick power on test, that was, that was fine. But again, put this on. And so everything's pretty much set up. So now I've got uh, range extended uh, Hubson 501S. And this looks like a pretty cool setup. I'm uh, so far pretty happy with it. I'm kind of interested in, in the polarization of um, this antenna. And, and I probably will upgrade this 2.4 because this looks like a, a, a pretty low dB dipole. Uh, and I may go with a larger one. It's just using the standard SMA connectors. Because you notice, I think I got, I think this is like a, maybe a 5 dB. I think I've got a 7 or a 10 on the uh, 502E. And so I may upgrade this one. But this should do a whole lot better over top of the stock antenna. So, you know, this, this guy, so you can kind of look at perspective. Because it really starts about from here in the base. You can see the coax run up through there. So this is probably like... Uh, zero you know this is about a probably a quarter wave dipole this is probably about a half wave dipole so they, they'll get up better and then this guy for receiving versus this panel so i think this will be a big uh big boon and again i've seen on the internet uh, a lot of positive stuff so there you go this was really a simple uh install if you will um, of this antenna mod you know the biggest things were pretty much um drilling the holes here and I think all that came out really nice. Uh, I had to clean up a little bit more of the, the uh, uh, stanchions in there than I expected, but it's okay. Um, and again, went, to pretty, went together pretty good. I can't wait to fly this. So uh, look for an upcoming episode. So anyways, um, hopefully you found this interesting. I'll have the links to all this stuff below. Uh, if you're interested in you know modding your uh, 501S, highly worth it. Because again, part of my thinking when I bought this was, I think for another 15 bucks, Versus like another hundred for the uh, Pro Controller, which is also really big. I tell you, I love the way this feels in my hands. It's comfortable. It's lightweight. Um, so you really can't beat it. And, you know, so I thought, why well, spend the extra hundred bucks when I can just add this? Kind of like what I did with the uh, Phantom. So, anyways, 
Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe button coming up over there. If you're not a subscriber, please do. It helps us make more videos. And uh, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you think, what you had for lunch, what maybe you're going to have for lunch. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.